Ryan McCaffrey, Brandon Tyrell joining you from IGN. Big news on the Halo front That's today, right. Brandon. We uh, have been waiting and waiting and waiting some more to hear <laughs> about the Halo TV series with yeah. Showtime. Uh, it's been on the back burner, or at least in development somehow for a while. A lot of us thought it was dead. It's totally not dead. Not dead at all. Going into production in 2019. Uh, early 2019, yeah. Ten episode run. One hour long episodes. Hour each. Uh, what do we know so far? What do we want to see from this? We know Spielberg's involved, but more importantly, we know that we have a showrunner now. His name is Kyle Killen. Uh, he's known for a couple of series so far, uh, most notably Awake and Lone Star. Yeah, and what's what's notable about, about uh, his work? Uh, about Kyle, it's actually a really interesting pick because Kyle Killen is known for sort of themes of duality and uh, two sides of the same coin, multiple storylines going on at the same time, as well as like really heady, like dense storytelling. Yeah. Which I think is perfect for the Halo series because there's so many politics involved and uh, there's such a breadth of, of this universe. So I'm really excited for it because uh, I think, you know, Showtime, uh, their CEO came out and said this is going to be the most ambitious show ever. Uh, and I think this might be the entry point that they're looking for to sort of match HBO in quality of like the West real, World, the Game of Thrones, exactly sort of tentpole, real premium television. Yeah, like like I like I have to subscribe to Showtime to see this. Yeah, kind of exactly. Stuff. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, it's interesting you mentioned duality. Mm -hmm. uh, Halo 2's story was exactly. very much one of duality between the Arbiter and the Chief. Right. But uh, we should probably not expect a retelling of that or any other Halo story in this, right? Exactly. Yeah, it's really interesting because Kiki Wolfkill, head of Transmedia for Halo, came yeah. out and said that, quote, today we announced that we are working uh, with some incredible talent to bring you an epic new story experience set in the Halo universe. Okay, so we will not be retelling Combat Evolved, we won't be retelling Halo, Halo 2. 2. I don't think we're gonna see the Chief versus the Arbiter, although that would be super cool. Um, I really do think this is going to tie into things we already know about, but be set in a new perspective or with maybe some new characters, some minor characters. Yeah. Um, because again, uh, another quote from Kiki uh, saying, the biggest challenge can often be finding the right balance between moments fans have already experienced and moments that have yet to be experienced through a different medium perspective or creative lens. So not the fall of Reach, probably I heart, don't think heart so. of the war. Yeah, maybe, um, um, I, maybe you know, first contact that battle for Harvest, where um, you know it would be really interesting to see this story told as a uh, sort of political thriller, where this unknown threat in the Covenant has declared war on humanity. And you know, first contact being around Harvest and the battle for Harvest, um, and the eventual destruction of that planet. Well, one of the most be beloved Halo stories is a side story set during the war, and that's Halo Three ODST, right? Which yeah. is set during the events of Halo Two. So, you know, we know that the that, that universe is is ripe for that exact kind of, of uh, storytelling. So, and I can totally see that happen. If you look at a Game of Thrones. What makes Game of Thrones so great is it's not a fantasy story with dragons and zombies and all that, although it definitely is, and that's awesome. Uh, it's a political thriller, right. right? And Westworld is a mystery story. Um, so taking the awesomeness that everything is, that everything that Halo the Universe in incorporates, and putting that in an actual awesome character-driven storytelling uh, sort of uh, show, uh, I think, you know, there's a lot that can be done there. All right, so last point, uh, does your gut, what does your gut tell you about Master Chief being the primary hero in this TV show? My gut says no. I'm with you on that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that quote that we, we were talking about earlier suggests it's going to be, uh, you know, new characters in, in a familiar place, so uh, I'm expecting maybe new Spartans. I mean, let's just wrap, what do you think the story could be? I mean, there's a million places it could go. Uh, Spartan 2s, over time, have clearly proven to be the most beloved yeah. of the, of the yeah. lot, so I think we might see some Spartan 2s. Um, I do think, though, that Chief is going to pop in I every too. once in a while. I do, too. Little Steve Downs, just like yep. just to send chills up fans' spines, which I know that would totally happen to me, and that would be awesome. Uh, if we're continuing the themes that, you know, Killen is known for of duality, I would love to see, like, a two-part story, and not, like, one part, two part, but a, a two, two stories. Two timelines? Yeah, set in the same, you know, back and forth. You could be, like, go back in time and and question the morality of like the Spartan program oh, stealing like kids away yeah you know is this right should we do this and then have the other side of that coin be current time when they're just you know kicking butt and taking names on the battlefield to protect humanity I don't think we're gonna have a human versus covenant story where one angle is the humans and one angle is the covenant right just because I think that 
uh, the CGI and the post-production needed to like make a meaningful representation of the Covenant or High Charity, uh, Fair point. that would just be too expensive. Fair point. So, there's a lot of places we could go, and I'm super excited to learn more about this. Yeah, so uh, we'll be keeping an eye on this in 2019 as it goes into production. We That's can right. probably expect maybe some first set photos, yep. a teaser. Uh, I cannot wait to see Mjolnir yeah. armor for the first time. Gonna like be. On, on set, like a shaky cell phone cam. <laughs> All right, uh, hopefully maybe we can even get a set visit out of it. We, we know some people. Yeah, we so do. we'll see. We do. Uh, for all things Halo TV, we're going to be keeping a very close eye on all of it. Keep it tuned right here to IGN.